Welcome to this video on dashboard interactivity using actions. You can download the exercise workbook to follow along in your own copy of Tableau. Dashboard actions are powerful, interactive elements within a dashboard. There are three types of actions, highlight, filter, or URL. Actions on dashboards have several parts. Highlight and filter actions have a source and target. URL actions can include field values as dynamic inputs. An action can be activated by various mouse behaviors, such as hovering or clicking, or as a menu option in the tooltip. Highlighting calls attention to marks by dimming everything that isn't selected. Highlighting can be done in the view or from a legend. Let's add a highlight action to this dashboard. Most simply, this highlight pen icon turns on highlighting from the legend. Now clicking on a category, we'll highlight all marks for that category. But we can create a highlight action with different behavior. Click on the dashboard menu, then actions. We can see that generated highlight action from the legend, and we can add our own. Add action, highlight. First, we'll give it a name, market highlight. For source sheets, we can select a dashboard from the dropdown. It's already correct. We'll leave all the sheets as source, so we can drive this action from any view. For target sheets, we'll deselect map. This means the map won't highlight. For target highlighting, we'll choose selected fields and check market. We'll change the run action to hover. The default is select, which is a mouse click. Now when we hover over any mark, all marks in the bottom charts that share the same market will be highlighted. Interactive filters can be applied to all or some views using the related data sources. And views can be turned into filters by clicking on the icon in the header. But for more control, we can use formal filter actions. Dashboard menu, actions, add action, Filter. We'll name it Filter to Just This Country. For source sheets, we'll select only the map. And for target sheets, we'll deselect the map but leave the other two. And we'll leave target filters on all fields. It's important to choose what clearing the selection will do. We'll pick Show All Values. This is usually the expected behavior for the end user. This time, we'll leave the Run On action as Menu, and click OK. Now when we click on a country in the map, we have the option in the tooltip to filter the bottom two views. Because we deselected the map as a target, the map doesn't filter itself. And note that our highlight actions still work. URL actions create a hyperlink to a web page or a file outside of Tableau. Field values can be used as dynamic inputs in a URL so the link is related to the data. Let's add a URL action. We'll go to the Dashboard menu, Actions, and we'll add a URL. Speaking of using fields as dynamic inputs, this can be done when naming actions as well. We'll name this URL action Wikipedia 4, and then we'll click the arrow for a list of available fields, and we'll use City. For source sheets, we want the URL to run from the map, so we'll deselect New Zealand sales. We'll leave the Run action as Menu, and the URL will be the selected city's Wikipedia page. Earlier, I opened a page for a random city and copied the format of the link. Then we'll add the city as a dynamic input, just like with the name. Depending on which city we select on the map, that name will be fed into the URL. We can test the link here. Note that it opens in our browser. Now when we click on a city in the map, the tooltip offers a link 
for Wikipedia for whatever the city is. If we click on it, note that the URL action, instead of opening in the browser, opened in the web page at the bottom of the dashboard. If there is a web page on the dashboard, the URL action opens there. If there isn't a web page in the dashboard, the URL action will open in the default browser, like it did when we tested the link. This web page is still fully interactive, and if it ever lands on a page needing disambiguation, the user can interact with the page as if it were in the browser. Thank you for watching this dashboard training video. We invite you to continue with the free training videos to learn more about using Tableau.